It feels like everyone's kind of been waiting for the last, going on two years now. Like when, when is it gonna start again? It was always down the road, but now the rates have stabilized largely, really seeing the activity start to pick up. I think people are looking forward as opposed to looking at today or looking backwards. And I think that helps drive sentiment that creates activity and creates a little bit more of that deal flow. That sets up to be a pretty um, interesting environment for us to be investing in. When it comes to sort of calling the bottom, we're not market timers at, at Brookfield. Uh, it never have been. We're through the cycle investors and that's generally been our philosophy. But it certainly does feel like the cycle has uh, reached a point uh, where things are stabilizing. We're investing, as you say, not only through cycles, but in assets and in businesses over a long period of time. And so thinking about market timing in that construct, it's, it's a bit of false precision having the right business plan around these assets. It's so much more important than figuring out the exact right entry point. Supply was actually pretty tight pre-COVID. COVID was a not a lot of new construction happened, maybe in pockets in the US, uh, in multifamily and, and industrial, but that's been being absorbed, if not already. In Europe, in the last two years, again, nothing's really started in scale, yet employment's held up uh, and the consumer's held up and rents have continued to tick up with inflation. But over the next few years, the supply crunch uh, relative to the amount of demand is gonna present a pretty different um, recovery than we saw you know, 10, 15 years ago. And that creates a great backdrop for investing where we're seeing a ton of opportunity, that be it in rental housing, traditional rental apartments, things like student housing, senior housing.